This is a channel all about construction and construction stuff and learning new things about construction. So today we're gonna learn about one of the most important cuts there is when you're doing any kind of construction, and that's a plunge cut with a circular saw. This is for the people that are say do-it-yourselfers or just new into the industry. And I gotta say, there's not a lot of young people getting into this industry. Uh, the building inspectors tell me this, and a lot of people in the trades tell me they can't get young people to get into building, but people still need houses. So this is a great thing to learn. Let's jump into it. So this is a little more advanced technique than your regular cross cut. And there's a few things you need to keep in mind to make it safe and make it accurate. <laughs> All right, so first let's talk about this piece of siding that I'm cutting on. I've got it flipped over with my marks on the back side. And that's because when you're cutting a finished material with a circular saw, you usually wanna cut from the back side. That'll give you a cleaner cut on the front side. I've got my two depth marks for either side of the window. And I'm going to make a line with a straight edge, in this case, a really dirty level. Um, so let's do that. That will be my cut line. And then third, I'm gonna space this workpiece up off of the piece below it so that uh, I don't cut right through the piece below it. That's always important. And uh, that'll give me a nice place to work. Mm. All right. Okay. I've got a battery saw. It's got a new blade on it. And so good blade is very important. Sharp blade is almost as important as the saw, I think. So I've got a good blade on here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the depth of my blade to just deeper than my material. So I'm gonna set that right there. It looks pretty good. Lock it down on the back of the saw right there. All right, so I've seen people try to do this by like starting the saw way up here and then trying to plunge in. That's not the proper technique. What you wanna do is place the very front part of the base of the saw right here on your zero increment, right on your line like that. And then check that when you drop the saw down, pivoting like this, you'll get to the back mark on your line approximately. And I can see that if I drop down, I will be in the correct location back here. So that's where I wanna start. All right, here's one other thing I wanna say before I start this cut. Do not ever back up when you're doing a plunge cut uh, or a rip cut like this because the teeth of the saw will catch and your saw will run out like this. So uh, it could run over your fingers or it could just gash your workpiece. Uh, either way, it's not gonna be good. So remember, once you've plunged in, and you're ripping like this, only move in the forward direction of your saw. Never back up or you'll end up doing one of those and uh, it'll mess some stuff up. A couple notes about safety when you're doing this. Wear eye protection because you're gonna be looking right where the blade is going in. Okay, so there's gonna be stuff flying at your face, number one. Number two, fingers, okay? You can put your fingers pretty much anywhere on this saw, like here is fine, in front of the saw, but never ever get your fingers behind the saw. Because if this thing does kick out, it's gonna run right over your fingers and cut them off. And that's not a cool way to wave at anybody. So make sure your fingers are out of the way and in a safe place. All right, so what I'm gonna do is align my zero increment on my base with the line. I'm gonna drop the blade in parallel with my line, watching as I cut in to make sure I'm staying parallel with the line, and then I'm gonna move only in the forward direction on that line, okay? I can cut a little bit past my marks on the back of the board due to the round shape of this blade and get a little closer to the corner. Let's do it. If you wanna keep this running parallel to your line very easily, what I do in a lot of cases is I'll make myself a guide with my fingers. So I'll pinch the base of the saw right here. And this isn't really dangerous. This is way away from the blade. So that when I run my saw down, the base is held 
in the same position in relation to the board. All right, my cameraman abandoned me. He's gotta to get to work. So uh, what I'm gonna to do to finish this cut is take a jigsaw, take these cuts all the way to the corner in both directions real fast, and I'm gonna video that myself. It's All right, Jason came back. Thanks, man. <laughs> Got a camera guy again, okay. So another thing you wanna do on rips, or any cuts on uh, smart side especially, go ahead and prime any of your cuts really nice like that so that they can't take on any moisture and swell ever and this stuff will last like 100 years. So there we go, got that primed before we put it in. All right, there's a plunge cut on one piece of siding. Don't be afraid to take the plunge and learn how to do that. You won't regret it, I promise.